I will die on this hill. All right, so I just, oh, I'm not wearing my glasses. I, I just got home, right? I just went to the shops to buy a couple of essential things and now it's a hundred dollars later and I'm feeling guilty, but not because both of the things that I bought were sensory needs. And you hear a lot about this ADHD tax or neurodivergency tax. It, it's affecting me. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But now I'm like, ah, I can't actually afford this. Um, so, hello, hi, hello, 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 hi, I am Spantopia Rosé, but you can call me Span. How are you? 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 Today's video is just gonna be a little bit of a vlog, a rant, if you will, a vent. So, up until recently, Canberra has been really good with masks and having mandates that say you have to wear masks to stop the spread of COVID. And recently they dismantled that. They're like, oh no, it's fine. You don't need to wear them inside anymore. So I was wearing my P2 full face mask. I did have it covering my face, but I can't have my mask and my glasses on at the same time. And I refuse to not wear a mask in public because I don't want to catch the plague and die. <sighs> so already have to take my glasses off can't really see things in the distance can't see the enemies approaching it's fine I've learned to deal with that uh, the sensory issue of having the glasses fogging up with my mask on impossible to manage and a uh, hypersensitivity that my face gets when I'm wearing the mask means that I can feel the glasses on my face at all times because I can feel the mask not okay all right so I recently got my ears pierced up the top here and they're healing well. It was about four weeks ago, roughly, maybe three and a half. Um, four weeks tomorrow, actually. It was four weeks tomorrow. Um, you're supposed to give it six weeks to heal before you change them out, but I can't deal. They're not really sore unless these bits grab on things and they grab on things all the time, on pillows, on cushions, on couches every time I rest I feel pain and I can't deal with that because these little bits are spiky and they grab and when you lean back this bit stabs into the back of my head so I needed for sensory reasons of reducing pain I needed to go buy some sleepers so I went and I bought these sleepers right <laughs> $24 a pair I had to get two so there's $50 just right there then I went to Best and Less, who sell these t-shirts, right? Which are a specific brand of t-shirt, then they're a specific size of t-shirt and a specific feel, and they're the only t-shirts that I wear that don't make me hate my life. So I go in there and I'm like, okay, they're going to have something. And then they had all of these terrible designs that I didn't really like. Let me show you. Um, so... We've got, I had to buy four is what I'm saying, and they were $10 each, which is cheap, but that's not the $50. I leave my house, I spend $100. I don't, I don't have that sort of money. Anyway, just must never leave my house again, but at least they were on things that I will use and need, <sighs> need, need because of my sensory issues, because of my neurodivergency. If I was a normal person, I wouldn't have these needs. Mm. Anyway, there is no normal. So, I was showing you the shirts. Um, I'm sorry, this is such a hectic uh, video. I'm just gonna... Excuse me one moment. Alright, I feel like this is a terrible video, but we're going for it anyway. Okay, so I bought some shirts. These are the shirts that I love. This is one of them. It was white when I bought it. I had to dye it. I did it with a black dye and it turned into like it really brought out this stain and turned into this like weird blue color, but it has this nice cat on it and it's comfortable and it's large and I like it. And I have a bunch of other shirts like this, but I don't have enough so that I can just wear them every day. So I went to Best Less and I'm going to find these shirts. And then I had to buy ones that look like this, which is, you know, it's got a little French thing here that says je, je adore. Um, and I mean, that's fine. That means something like I adore or something. I will Google this before I wear it. Um, but then it's got the, the Cupid's arrow, which is really just a bow and arrow. And I like that. I like archery, so I figure that's fine. I'll take the sticker off. 
So I got this one. Look, it's not a colour I would choose if I had more choice. I, I don't like the colour. I don't particularly love it. It's pink. <laughs> it's salmon. It's not even a good pink. It's like a washed out pink. But yeah. So I bought that one. And then I had to buy this one, which was the only black one that I could stomach having. Um, and it says rock and roll, which, you know, I don't really listen to music much. I'm not sure rock and roll would be my vibe. I like the idea. I would, if it said punk rock or punk rock 101, I'd be like, yeah, but because it's just rock and roll. I don't know, maybe it's 70s. I don't know. I feel like it's not something I say much. Um, but it's in a dark colour and I'm trying to get dark colours, I say, just putting down a pink salmon shirt, anyway. Um, so the other one that said, that was, um, the other one that was black that had a print, they all have prints on them, um, it said, vacay, s'il vous plaît, which is French and means vacation, please, I think. But that just seemed like vacay, doesn't know if that's even a French word or if that's just like slang for vacation and I just didn't, I felt like maybe that was racist, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, I don't know what this means. Do I really need to, do I want that? So no, I didn't want that. So I couldn't get the other black one. So I got rock and roll because at least I know what that means, right? There were other shirts that were like, of this exact same brand um, that were like a dark grey which were gonna be great but uh, they had like California rebels and things that I, I I'm not associated with and don't understand and why would I want that on my t-shirt I just I didn't feel comfortable wearing that so I got rock and roll instead um, so then the next t-shirt <laughs> the next t-shirt was the only other one that I could stomach so there was a really cool tiger design that had a big tiger face but it was was white and I don't I don't wear white to see because this is why I don't wear white because it's so easily stained so the next one I got it took me forever it was right down the bottom of the pile completely covered up um, but it's gray um, and it's got these flowers which are nice and nice yellow roses which are my favorite I love yellow roses um, there's a cool hand picture and then down the bottom it says let love grow. When I first read that, I thought it just said, let it grow. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Let it go. Let it go. But uh, no, let love grow. And I was like, mm, okay, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, so I got two of them. <laughs> um, because I've got this one shirt that is the same brand. It's got slightly better, it's got no seam on the shoulder, and it's the same brand, and the tag's exactly the same, but they don't make it anymore. And it's just a black shirt with stars, silver stars drawn on it, and I, I love it. And I wish that I, when I had seen that shirt, I had bought multiple. So when I was like, yes, I like this, I was like, right, I'm going to buy at least two. So I've got four of the same shirt in different colours and patterns, and this one just the same twice, because I can never get my washing done in time. Um, okay. <laughs> So let me just show you the earrings. So these are the earrings I got. They're just little sleepers to go in place of these little studs. Okay, and there are there are two in there. A little bit hotter. There we go. Yeah, so I bought those for those four. So, so that was this morning. But also, also, just not, while I'm on my high horse, <laughs> um, let me take my shoes off. I, all my shoes break, right? I wear shoes until the sole comes off. So I went shoe shopping in my sister's bedroom <laughs> and I was like, these are exactly the same shoes as the shoes that I used to have, only I had them in green, and I really loved them, great, this is going to be wonderful, and she was like, I never wear them, you can have them, they're a size too small, I, they fit my foot, I thought, great, this is wonderful, walking around this morning though, getting, getting like pain, pain in my toes, pain in my heel from rubbing, and I don't think it's going to be the type that I can just, you know, 
put up with. Like, I don't think it's going to wear in because it's already moulded to her foot and it's a size too small. It is a size 8 instead of a size 9, or an 8 and a half, 8 instead of a size 9. <sighs> So now I don't have any shoes again. Um, I have one other pair of shoes of hers that I have borrowed from time to time, but I suppose they're going to be my everyday shoes until they fall apart too. Until soul divides. I really like these. They're called Cabello Comfort. Cabello Comfort. Maybe I can buy some more, but again. I can't afford 150 bucks on shoes because I just spent 100 bucks on t-shirts and earrings. Okay, um, what I, what I really wanted to talk about in this video wasn't actually this spending spree. I wanted to talk about making your space more you friendly. So I'm autistic and I have really bad anxiety and I have ADHD, I think it's undiagnosed, but I'm like 90% sure because the pure autism advice does nothing and the pure ADHD advice, I can't take either of those, but if you kind of smush them together, I kind of have those, that, that, that's sort of something that I can kind of work with, even though it's kind of like impossible. But, so, look at the chandelier. This is my, my sister's chandelier. We got that put in recently. Um, right, so I share an apartment with my sister um, this is her chandelier. This is making her space more hers. This is an artwork I did. This is an artwork I did. This is one of hers that she owns. Um, um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I wanted to talk about getting the space that you live in more you-friendly. So I have a lot of sensory needs that I didn't really know that I had until I got my autism diagnosis and I was like, oh, you know what, actually, the ticking clock does, it does affect me really badly. So, the first thing <laughs> that I did, that I really was like, I'm going to make this decision and I'm just going to spend this money and buy this to make my life more comfortable, was this clock. It doesn't tick, it doesn't tick, listen. no ticking all right this useless i don't this is this is not i thought this was gonna like change how i how i film selfies forever but turns out it's just as useless as my own hand um so anyway i <sighs> there's a reversing truck somewhere and it's eating me alive <sighs> okay <sighs> calm down calm down calm down span all right so i'm gonna keep filming through the, the through the alarm because I'm in a mood, I'm in a mood, and I'm going to bring you along with me, so you're welcome. So this is my first space. I've got three spaces in my house, in my in my apartment, really, that are, I feel a part of my my space that I live in. And this this is one. I've recently set it up. Um, there's this desk here for when I need the internet. I can put my laptop on there. Um, I've got, like, a troll doll, some paper towels, just, like, stuff. I've got all my books. It's like a little mini library. I've got all my cool little books set up there. So this is the first little space that really feels sensorily nice for me to be in. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to because it's new, so I'm like still uncomfortable. Um, but I'm very unsettled. I'm very unsettled. I'm very unsettled. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So I put all my pretty old books up the top because they're nice and wonderful. And I put my Groot because he's so lovely and this is a painting a family friend did and here's all my books, my books especially my little golden books, they make me feel comfortable. So yeah, I've got my desk um, and my laptop which has my spaceman on it, which has my, whoop, 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 my spaceman on it, my wolves and mushrooms and then um, this sticker here of his hand, it's my room. Tilson, who's an artist that I really love. Um, right, so my second space is this space, um, which is like an art studio sort of thing, which I've recently, so this is the freezer attached to the kitchen and that's our Christmas tree and then this is my space. So this has all of my art supplies on it, a desk where I can paint, uh, that's a current work in progress, is that lion, uh, spaceman I recently did. Um, yeah, so it's got this little thing of 
art supplies. Um, oh, yeah, which is actually really cool to have, um, which I bring in from the farm to be here. Um, and then this big old cupboard that I love that I've had in my life since I was a very small child uh, is now full of my art supplies. Um, here's a tiger I'm working on. Um, I think I want to make it more space theme. Um, right, so the clock and the two desk spaces. But now let's talk about my room. Let's close the window so we can't hear the beep beep beeping beeping noises because it's driving me insane. It's driving me insane. It's driving me insane. Oh, it stopped. We're gonna close it anyway because it's gonna come back because the mall is right there. See? So this is one of the banes of my existence. Um, is that there's a construction site and a mall just right there and it just it's not good it's not good it's not good all right so this is my bedroom uh, let me just turn the light on uh, right so as you can see first big thing that I've gotten in my room recently that just makes me comfortable is my bed so I've got this four poster metallic bed um, that I've hung these sheets. I couldn't find black sheets so I had to dye these black. This is actually the same dye as this but with different fabrics, different results. Weird huh? So it was a black dye so I dyed these kind of grey sheets into this black sheet um, for my bed. So I am um, I'm a 32 year old woman um, and this, this, is, this is my bed. Woman? Person? Am I a woman? Did I just gender correct myself? Anyway, um, okay. This is not going well. I've already done a room tour, but I just wanted to talk about making your room safe for you. So setting up a room to be aesthetically pleasing or calming or whatever is nice, but it has to be sensorily acceptable for your needs. I need, I'm doing a terrible job at ex explaining this, but like I have, this is Max, this is Max my monkey. I've had him since I gave up my bottle dummy. I've had him since I was like three. Um, and he sleeps in my bed and he's a great source of comfort for me. Um, on the wall over here we have uh, drawings, colouring in pages, stencils that my brother makes for his Envelope of Awesome subscription and here we have all lined up some things that I've collected on my walks and then I've stuck them to the wall oh, and a uh, bookmark but then I've got two side tables one with my meds and my books and stuff and then one with more books and stuff um, but I've got this lamp so that I don't have to turn on the overhead lamp which used, the overhead light is bright but uh, it used to make this horrendous uh, flickering every time you turned it on or off. Um, but yeah, this, this is my weighted companion cube. She will never threaten to stab you. Uh, so this is my bed and I've got my pirate flag up. I've got my curtains all around and it's just really cozy and lovely and I want to put... Um, I kind of want to put a roof on it so that it feels more like a cubby, but it doesn't It doesn't really need it. Um, I have entertained the idea of putting up little stars and planets, um, glow in the dark, but then I realised that would probably distract me, um, so I probably won't be doing that. Um, I could maybe do glow in the dark paint, like universe cloudy splotches, but again, I don't want to lie awake looking at that, I like it to be dark when I'm trying to sleep which is also what these curtains are great for blocking out the light from that window. Um, if they were heavier it would work better, but uh, it's not completely blocked out, but it is a lot dampened from what it was. Um, so over here we've got all my clothes, where I put my clothes, and that's where I put my clothes when the clothes are put away. So this is where I film, that's my little filming corner, you may recognise it. Um, so this is my clean washing, just underneath that desk, my pile of clean washing. This is my pile of shoes I need to throw away <laughs> that are all broken. Um, dirty washing that doesn't really matter so much. Um, and this is my prioritised dirty washing. So this is dirty washing that really should have already been done already because I had to go buy new 
two shirts because I had nothing to wear today. Um, this was the last shirt. Um, uh, so I need to do that washing pronto. This is a mirror that I um, painted the edge of. Um, it feels gross now. Um, this is my one true piece of the TARDIS. Anyway, my brother made that for me. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I bought this mirror because I needed to see the full length, like, me, because I don't have the visual of, I don't know, I just like to, to see what my body looks like sometimes, because I, f I, f I forget, um, because this is my bathroom that comes off my, ugh, this is my bathroom that comes off of my bedroom, um, and the mirror here doesn't really, I don't know, I just, I don't seem to get the whole, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't like that mirror very much, um, but also recently I cleaned this bathroom because this bathroom had a horrendous smell in it. Also, can you hear that noise? Yeah, horrendous. This light flickers and it makes a, a bad noise. So I often I shower in the dark. Um, and the sensory thing about showering with my door open and my light off is oh, it makes showering like 10 times easier because I don't have to deal with that light. Um, either the, the flashy lightness or the sound of the buzz. I can't deal with that for very long at all. Even in the shower when the water is falling, it is often enough distraction. Like this morning I had a shower because the cleaner was vacuuming and mopping and stuff in the hallway and that was way too loud for me. I could not deal. And also there was beeping sounds as well. So I was like, right, I'm going to deal with this by having a shower. Um, I don't have any noise cancelling headphones yet, uh, they are expensive, um, and I did just buy a car, <sighs> so I have to be paying that off for the rest of my life, um, so I, it was, it's just a little Toyota Yaris, it was cheap, it was $7,500, and that's, I, I, yeah, I get it, that's not, that I don't have, I don't have $100 to spend on shirts, let alone that money for a car, but anyway, um, I'm gonna have to really really do some budgeting. Um, uh, right, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I don't have any noise cancelling headphones yet, but if I did, I would probably wear them all the time if my sensorily, if I could deal with the pressure of them being on my head. I do have loop earplugs, which do lessen sound, and the one time that I want to start using them that I haven't been using them has been for the washing up because we've got ceramic plates as most people do um, and they clink together and they make horrible sounds they're so loud it's so unsettling it, it physically makes me hurt every time so I want to start trying to use my little my little loop I have them here because the only time I'm really using them at the moment is when I go to the mall or when I'm out in public and I can't deal with the sounds anymore, I will put those in. Um, so it's great to have them just hanging off one of those little lesbian clips off the um, off my off my backpack um, because I can't remember to take them. Otherwise, I'll do, and if they're in the bag, I'm never going to find them because there's so many things in that bag. Um, yeah, so I this video is a mess. Uh, um, I should have, I should have, I should have waited till I calmed down and planned what I was going to say, but I didn't. So there's that. Um, the dog is making noise. I am doing intermittent fasting, and maybe part of this mood is part of that. But no. Mm, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go have breakfast. It is eleven o'clock. I've done my sixteen-hour intermittent fasting. Um, I feel like I didn't get the message across here at all. All I did was rant about how expensive things are. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah. I'm gonna go put my ears in, have some breakfast, calm down. <laughs> sorry to bring you on this emotional roller coaster, but um, I love you and I think that you deserve space and items in your house and in your life that make you calm and are sensorily for you specifically because this is your space so you're allowed to buy an expensive clock that doesn't tick you're allowed to have a bed that doesn't look like everyone else's you're allowed to have multiple squishy plush toys that other people don't have um 
might not have. It's not. It's it's not a problem. Here's a big giant squishy pineapple, squishmallow, squishmallow pineapple that I have on my couch. Uh, it was a gift, and honestly, it was one of the best gifts I've ever received. And this oh, heavy, heavy, heavy weighted blanket. Oh, seriously, I'm gonna break my back. Um, I have this on my couch because. It's very heavy. I think I got a size too heavy for me, so now I actually, I don't use it very often, but uh, sometimes when I'm sitting on the couch, I remember it's there and I'll pull it over my legs and I just get a little bit of, a little bit of extra calm, a little bit of extra calming down. And I think that just those little things, even if it doesn't help significantly, even if you're like, oh, this is, this isn't great, but you know, after a while, maybe you use it a couple of times, you'd be like, oh, actually, actually, it really feels nice to have this weighted blanket. Um, I think the same will be with my headphones when I finally get them so I don't have noises like that distracting me. <sighs> Ruining my life. Um, so recently I cleaned my bathroom as well, the bathroom I was recently in, and now it smells like bleach and it gave me a migraine for like four days. Uh, so now I can still smell it a little bit occasionally if I leave the door closed with the fan off and I open the door I'm like, ugh, I hit by it, but uh, I, I over cleaned. So usually I under clean things because cleaning is... <sighs> overstimulating and terrible so I don't do it very often so I decided right I'm gonna clean the bathroom and I like I bought bleach and I was like right I'm gonna follow the instructions I'm gonna clean the entire bathroom and I overdid it and ruined my life and uh, I couldn't <laughs> I had to go to my boyfriend's house for a couple of days to de detox um I do have a little bit of a headache a little niggling headache now but it's not so bad um so be very careful with chemicals <laughs> and cleaning um also, I cleaned it because there was this weird smell coming from the bathroom, and I'm like, this has got to be my shower or something. But I think it might actually be going through the vents, through a bath, through the neighbors' bathrooms, through the vents into my, you know, my bathroom. So this, or maybe just straight out of the pipes. I don't know, but it's not nice. It's really not nice. Um. Okay. Okay. I gotta go. I'm so tired. Um. I gotta eat something. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta change my ears. I. Lo I love you. Um. I'm gonna go. Uh, I hope that, that I feel like this has been a little bit of a manic hyper hyperactive um, vlog it's not at all coming but I guess I'm I'm softly speaking so that counts as ASMR right 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 okay hope that you're doing really really well I love you um, and good night sleep well good night good night sleep well good night sleep well good night sleep well I don't think I did my intro